Hello everyone, it's Just Stone here, uh, back again with another video, and today is October the 9th, 2018, and if you don't already know, today is the day that WWE 2K19 is released on both the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. As far as I know, they're not releasing it on last gen now, that's PS3 and what, Xbox 360? I might be wrong. So anyway, like a nerd, I decided to pre-order the game and I went and picked it up today after work. If I can get without any shine, there you go. I got on the PS4, as you should probably already know, I'm a PS4 guy, not an Xbox One guy. And um, I'm just gonna do a quick sort of unboxing of just the standard edition, nothing special about it. Uh, I thought I'd do an unboxing since I need to make content for you guys. And between you and me, I kind of enjoy it. So yeah, this is just going to be a sort of quick video, but to add some depth to it, I'm going to sort of give my thoughts on it. Um, originally, I wasn't going to bother getting the game as soon as it came out, but I decided to take a chance on it. So without any further ado or any more bullcrap, I am going to unbox WWE 2K19 for the PS4. This is Just Stone, and I'm going to say right now, please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below and we can have a discussion about this as well as you watching the video so thanks very much and let's get into it all right so here we are of the game wwe 2k19 standard edition for the ps4 please forgive the background if it's distracting you it's uh it's my duvet set so anyway here we go game right in front of us so as you should know you have the mysterio and ronda rousey thing there that's printed on the cover uh, this will probably be quicker than I expect really, so you've got Charlotte there, video game version of AJ Styles, John Cena and Daniel Bryan. There's some of the uh, configuration, or oh, specifications, sorry. 50 gigabyte minimum, that seems standard. Oh, PS4 Pro Enhanced, that'll go well. I recently got PS4 Pro, so see how that pans out. So you got all the garbage here, you know, blah, 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 visuals, my career. I always felt like... In the past few games they're focusing on visuals more but not the content so apparently this one's supposed to be better showcase mode with daniel bryan um one thing i did mention if the game was about daniel bryan it doesn't make any sense why aj styles is on the front but i suppose that's wwe wanting to pick their guy and then the developers of the game wanted to go with daniel bryan so towers mode and the roster the roster gets bigger every year so quickly open this up here you got the game disc so that's how it looks same as usual Right here, we got some leaflets, so SummerSlam, Greatest Royal Rumble and Super Showdown. Uh, it's funny they're promoting DVDs and Blu-rays and such. Get the network! Just because it's, you know, cheaper than buying actual f DVDs. I'm not trying to promote it, but anyway. So, we've got a game manual here, blah blah blah. Whatever, no one's reads those anymore and it's all explained in the game. Some super card thing. Uh, oh, hang on, just to go back to this thing. Ah, there is something on the back. AJ Styles. Probably. That's the thing, they don't put these documentaries on the network. That's annoying. Or maybe about five years later. So, super card thing, I don't play that. Right, I'm not going to turn this over because this is, this is my code. It's mine. Okay, sorry. Sorry to sound like a sport brat. But on the back of here is the PSN code for the Ronda Rousey and Rey Mysterio playable characters. So, yeah, that's what you get in the box. Um, as expected. Uh, right, so that's that, and I'm just going to get into my thoughts now on why I almost didn't pick this up on day one. Alright, so as I said at the start of the video, I wasn't actually intending to get this game as soon as it came out. I was thinking maybe around Christmas the price would have dropped and I could have picked it up around then. My reason for this was because when footage was first released of the game, I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about, it looked exactly the same as WWE 2K18 and that turned out to be a bit of a flop at the end of the day. So for me that game was a flop because there was no showcase mode. Um, my career, I, I didn't honestly, I didn't even bother playing that. I haven't really been a my career sort of person, I sort of dabbled in it a bit in 2K17 and it was okay but it was sort of very basic and generic. To be honest I think what a lot of people are crying out for is like a story mode based on the wrestlers involved in the game like i can't remember the last one we had probably it was like the old smackdown versus raw games and that seems like a lifetime ago now but yeah one of the main sort of tipping points for me to decide to get this game was when information came out about the my career mode it looked pretty interesting because you don't just sort of stay in wwe's sort of sphere 
or universe, I hate using that word. Um, so you don't start in NXT and move up and then all kinds of crap happens left, right and centre. And it's a bit random. Uh, with this, it seems like you start in the independent circuit and then you sort of work your way up. And then I hear that apparently there's some twists and turns and that. So the fact that you're starting in the independence and then sort of moving up to the WWE, that really quite interested me, if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, I'll probably, if I can find the time, I do want to play through my career. Um, in my head, I do plan to maybe record it. I don't know how long the my career sort of playtime is. I'll make a generic wrestler. I've got one in mind, actually. But um, to be honest, I saw him on one of those uh, TV cell adverts back in the day, and that's my idea. So maybe if I do that, I'll share that with you. Um, yeah, maybe you guys are interested in that. See what happens, and that might be fun. So yeah, as well as that, I heard about the towers mode and I thought that doesn't really interest me. The whole, I won't go into that because I'm sure you guys will know about that. Um, but then sort of more, more and more information came out and it looks like they have made some, one of the key things I remember is that they've made small changes but they do make all the difference. Now one of the things I'm talking about is the cage matches. Cage matches were extremely boring in the last few games. It's literally you fight, you can throw your opponent into the cage by doing a strong Irish whip. And that's about it. You climb out, door's there, you open the door by doing a superplex that doesn't make any real sense. Uh, but in this one, you can like fight on top of the cage, climb like while you're grappled on it, you can climb around it, you can have fisty cuffs or whatever on top of the cage, um, and people can interfere in that. It looks a whole lot more interesting. And to go with that, apparently Hell in a Cell has more functions like that, and that sounds a bit more interesting as well. But I suppose at the end of the day, any video game you play, you should have fun. Now this is, just to quickly go off topic a bit, this is one of the reasons why I don't play FIFA online anymore against other players, because it stressed me out. I wasn't having fun, and I just thought, why am I putting myself through this stress? Maybe, you know, maybe it's me just being a weak person, but if I wasn't having fun, I'm not going to play it. And uh, people have been saying that WWE 2K19 is just fun. now. I'm all for that, definitely. I am a, what do you call it, a WWE Universe mode. There I am using that bloody term again, even though I hate it, but that's what the mode's called. Um, I do enjoy playing that, so if the game's fun, maybe I might enjoy that even more this time around. And on top of that, I'm a sucker for like customization and that, and you, as you all know, if you follow my channel, please subscribe, I'm gonna hit that again. Um, I have done a lot of uh, videos about uh, reviewing replica belts and such and such and the fact now that you can customize the side plates and like you know make side plates for wrestlers and stuff that makes it even better uh, apparently the title belts still look crap and that sucks i would have thought when it moved to next gen so current gen current gen now um you're with me yeah that uh the belts would look better but they probably look even worse or just the same depending how you look at it but the fact now that you can add side plates adds a little bit more customization you know a bit more like something to be proud of when you're playing the game so that's another great thing just one last thing before i go one thing that sort of put me off the game as well when they announced run the rousey being in the game i thought why the hell is she like pre-order content so that sort of suckered people into pre-ordering the game just to play as run the rousey now run the rousey is hot stuff right now um, so I'm sure everyone would want to play as her so I just thought hang on she's been there for a good while now she's been there since as an active competitor for the WWE since Wrestlemania which was how many months ago and you're putting her as bonus content now in the past few years they've saved the pre-order characters for wrestlers who were sort of going into the Hall of Fame but they hadn't competed yet um, so that's basically the ones off the top of my head are Bill Goldberg and Kurt Angle at the time they hadn't wrestled yet but they put them into the game as pre-order content and I thought that kind of makes sense they're like special characters they're not an active member of the roster but with Ronda Rousey she's an active member of the roster but you're trying to sucker people in as a pre-order bonus and I didn't agree with that I just thought considering how long she's been there it makes sense for her to be in the game from the start now if people didn't pre-order and they do want to pay play as Ronda Rousey they're gonna have to pay extra for her, it'd probably only be a couple of quid or whatever, but it's still, it's still something. And they won't be able to get her from day one, as far as I know. But overall, I thought I'd take a chance. I managed to pick up this game for a decent price, just under 40 pounds, so that 
equates to 39.99. It's better than 44.99 or 50 pounds or even 55 pounds in some places. So I thought 40 pounds, yeah, I, I can part with that for this for a wrestling game. Something that hopefully I will enjoy, and I am a wrestling fan. So yeah, if if the game's not all that good, it's something to play here and there. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. That was my unboxing of WWE 2K19 on the PS4 and my thoughts on why I wasn't going to get it first, but that's why I changed my mind. Uh, as I said before, I'll say it again, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and hopefully I can have some fun with this and share that with you guys. I'm planning, if all goes well, I'm planning to do a sort of uh, capture some footage, just me playing the first few matches, I'll share that with you try and do some audio commentary. I'm trying to figure out how to do that with the software that I have, so maybe it's better. Fingers crossed for that. And I might, as I did before with WWE 2K14, I really enjoyed that, just doing random matches and sharing that with you guys. And it seem, they seem quite popular, so I might do the same thing. Um, videos aren't monetized, unfortunately, so I'll try putting the music in, and if WWE decides to take them down, then that's that. No copyright infringement will be intended. I'll just put that out there. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please stick around. Um, keep an eye on the channel. I'll be uploading videos as often as possible. And I do appreciate you watching, taking the time out of your day to watch it. Uh, yeah, so I'll leave it there. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. All the best.